Wink, a bearded dragon lizard, isn't your typical roommate. She eats her own food, doesn't invade anyone's personal space, and is perfectly happy to just hang out. But Wink influenced sophomore Kiefer Hazard more than just your average pet. It may look like a horn frog and it may look like just a pet, but essentially it was Wink here that helped him decide what he wanted to be when he grew up. I want to be a small animal veterinarian. It kind of all stems. I've just had this natural curiosity and just been intrigued by all animals. Hazard says although he's hoping to work specifically with small reptiles, other pets throughout his life have influenced his love for animals, including his six-foot python, geckos, and dog, Dodger, who died in January. He was really influential on my family, and um, I don't know, it's hard, to, it's hard for me to imagine uh, being somewhere without having a pet, so I got Wink here, and she's been keeping me company. Despite the good company, Hazard had to get his actual roommates used to the idea of pets. There's been like probably two times where I found crickets in my bathroom, but um, I just give him crap for that. But um, it's not, uh, no, it's not a big deal at all. She, she's pretty easy. Hazard and Sink both said one of the best parts about having Wink has been the reactions from other people. And the first time, you know, they see Wink, it's like, ah, they freak out a little bit. And we always try and make them touch, it, touch her or something or get them on their shoulder or something. But Some girls will come and, who has the dinosaur in their room? And uh, a lot of people, though, my favorite is if you just tell them it's a horn frog, that's their first reaction. They just jump, is that a horn frog? You know, yeah, it totally is a horn frog. And you string them along for a little while before maybe they realize that I don't have an endangered species living in my room. Even though she's not a real horned frog, Wink helped this horned frog plan his future. Carrie Fetzko, TCU News Now.